What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. This week we are going to bring you a top 10 rated park in North Carolina. Uh, it's located in the Smoky Mountains. It is an amazing RV park, fantastic people, and we cannot wait to share it with you guys. So stay tuned. So the park we're talking about this week is Creekwood Farm RV Park located in Waynesville, North Carolina. Uh, Creekwood Farm is an 11 acre RV park located right on Jonathan Creek. Uh, Jonathan Creek actually flows into the Pigeon River. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful park, very well kept and we actually spent nine months there. So there's 121 RV sites and 29 of those are actually on the creek and they also have three cabins. So there are two different types of Creekside sites uh, at Creekwood Farm RV Park. You're gonna have the premium sites and then you're gonna have just your standard creek sites. So of the 29 sites that are located right on the creek, 11 of those are premium sites. Those sites are gonna have a concrete patio and also a fire pit. The other 18 sites on the creek are gonna be just a standard back end gravel site with no fire pit, but they all have an amazing view of the creek. Um, I mean, they back up literally right to the creek. And if your site doesn't have a fire pit, they are available for that. Mm -hmm. Creekwood also has three elite patio sites. That's basically the same type of site as a premium site uh, on the creek. It's gonna have a concrete patio and it's gonna have a fire pit. And there are, there are also eight patio sites which uh, have no fire pit. They just have a concrete patio and they are also off the creek. Uh, the rest of the sites are gonna be all gravel back-end sites. So there are some sites in the center of the uh, of the park that look like they're pull-through sites. Those are sites 79 through 87 and then sites 117 through 125. So those sites actually uh, back up to each other. So if it's not a busy weekend or it's not the, the park isn't real busy, you can pull through and actually use those sites more as a pull-through site. But if it's busy, uh, since those sites back up to each other, you'll have to go down and then back into the site. Uh, if you're not really good at backing in, you have nothing to worry about. Uh, they have all of the staff there uh, that helps park people. Uh, that's part of what they do there. So the process uh, works like you, you pull in, they greet you, you get checked in at the office, and then someone, uh, a work camper there, will come up and escort you down to your site or uh, somebody from the office will escort you down to your site and they will help you get backed in. Um, while we were there, there were many, many people that, that visited there and uh, they were concerned because they weren't really good at backing in their rig, but we always got them in. Uh, there were, was never any issue, so um, you know, don't be nervous if you're not good at backing in. There's plenty of people there to help you out and uh, they'll make sure you get set up. So the centerpiece of Creekwood Farm RV Park, uh, and it's very prominent, you're going to notice it right away, and that is the old barn. The yeah, barn is 128 years old, and it's made with locusts and hemlock wood from the Pisgah National Forest. Yeah, so it's a very historical barn. Uh, there's an old silo there. Everybody always always asks about the barn. Uh, they keep it they keep it lit up uh, at Christmas time. They really light things up there. And, and if you see the chickens roaming around, they're supposed to be roaming around. It's a farm. <laughs> so located right behind the barn is the rec hall and bathhouse along with the laundry room. Um, the bathhouse is, I guarantee you, the cleanest bathhouse you will find at any RV park in the country. Uh, there are six individual private full bathrooms with a shower and they they stay on top of those like it's unbelievable. Um, they are very very clean they're very well monitored, so you know they never get uh, they never get dirty. I mean, they don't have time to get dirty. Uh, the the work campers and the staff there do a phenomenal job at keeping those things clean, and that's actually one of the biggest compliments uh, that they get at Creekwood Farm RV Park, and that's how exceptionally clean the bathhouse is. So it makes for a very very nice experience if you don't don't like showering in your tiny little RV shower. If you'd rather have a bigger open shower. Uh, they've definitely got you covered there because it, it's an, just an outstanding, well-kept area. So there's actually two parks located within this RV park. 
One is Bear Park and it has a pavilion area where you can have a gathering down there and there's access to the creek from that end. And then the other end of the park is Eagle Park and there's also access to that creek. And then during the summertime, people like to go tubing in there. Um, they keep the creek stocked for trout. So people fish there and it's um, you know a real fun area. Yeah, trout season's a really big deal. Um, we saw people catching trout all throughout uh, all throughout like the late spring and early summer uh, so they when they stock it you can definitely catch quite a few fish out of there so we mentioned that we were there for nine months uh, we were there from november all the way through the month of july and we were there uh, as work campers i was working as a work camper there so as a work camper there uh, we delivered fire pits dylan mentioned that you could rent a fire pit uh, we delivered fire pits we delivered firewood uh, we helped get people back in and set up to, uh, in their site. Uh, Dylan went out. Dylan helped me uh, quite a bit. We With the trash. Yeah. Helped pick up trash. Um, they come around, pick up your trash. All you have to do is set your trash out at the end of your site there um, between the hours of 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock, and they'll come around and pick it up. Just a, a fantastic place. And, you know, we mentioned the great people there, and, uh, you know, they made us feel like family our whole entire stay there you know everybody loved hanging out with Dylan and uh, spending time with him and just uh, you know we do uh, we do definitely miss it for sure but um, you know it's just a, an awesome place we we were there through the winter time so we got to experience winter in the Smoky Mountains um, snow yes we got we did get some snow Dylan, um, Dylan actually hoped we got more snow we actually only had a yeah. few snow days yeah, nothing like the 16 inches that we got in yeah, South Dakota. Yeah, that was... Not quite yeah. like that, but <laughs> definitely enough to uh, to make it nice and make it pretty. Um, but, uh, you know, not so nice if you have to go out and work in it. Um, <laughs> there were a couple of really, really cold days. I think, the, I think the coldest day that I actually went out and worked in it, I think it was 20 degrees and the wind was blowing. It felt like 5 degrees and it was snowing. <laughs> Yeah, um, so, it's pretty to work out from inside. Mm -hmm. yes. It's better to work out from inside than actually go out in it. Yeah, Dylan went out and did uh, a trash round with me that morning. Yeah, we and, did. Uh, yeah, he was good. He was, <laughs> he was good. So, he likes playing in it, but he definitely likes to be able to watch it and look at it from inside. Yeah. Um, another cool thing that we did for the first time at Christmas, Dylan, what we do at Christmas time? We got a real Christmas tree. Not only got a real Christmas, how do we get our real Christmas tree? We cut it down ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we went to a local Christmas tree farm there. And uh, we we picked a tree out, cut it down, and brought home a fresh, uh, fresh tree, which we can now vouch that a fresh cut tree will stay alive a lot longer than one you buy from a Christmas tree lot. That's for sure. Uh, that thing lasted forever, but um, it was a really neat experience, and uh, we're definitely glad that we did it. It was an expensive experience, but <laughs> but it was uh, it was worth it. So another big project that Dylan. Uh, helped uh, help me do um, over the over the winter time uh, kind of over winter and, and early spring uh, they ordered 12 cords of wood to come in uh, to be stacked so they could have enough wood to get through the summertime so uh, we didn't stack all 12 cords ourselves we had some help in between but we stacked a we probably stacked a, half of it. a pretty good portion of it for sure and then our stack fell over <laughs> so we had to restack it again but uh, it was definitely a blast we really really enjoyed spending spending time there and uh again you know it's uh it's the people that really make it awesome um you know the area is beautiful the the creek is beautiful and a couple of fun things we did while we were there we went to the biltmore house in nashville and i did a couple of summer camps and... yeah so being in one spot for as long as we were gave us a chance for dylan to kind of get out do some, some summer camps there um with some of the local uh, local summer camp programs so definitely a benefit of staying in an area for a longer period of time uh, you, you know you learn the area uh, you get to kind of build some relationships with people and uh, and then Dylan gets to participate in some things that he wouldn't normally get to participate in if we were on the move you know all the time and moving really fast so definitely definitely recommend if you are going to be staying anywhere near Waynesville Maggie Valley Asheville any in, in that whole entire area you will not find a more well-kept, uh, more friendly and welcoming RV park than Creekwood Farm RV Park. Uh, we definitely plan on going back and visiting that, uh, visiting the, the people there and uh, visiting the park when we're, uh, when we're back in that area. 
and uh, we highly, highly recommend it. It's a fantastic place. To wrap this video up, if you guys have seen some of the newer videos that Rishana posts on our channel, which are Dylan's terrible campground reviews, um, we're going to change it up a little bit. And to end this video, uh, we are going to leave you with an exclusive Dylan outstanding campground review. Dylan, take it away. This review comes from Creekwood Farm RV Park in Waynesville, North Carolina. Awesome! We camp here every time we come through this area, extremely well taken care of. I have a large bathhouse. Each room is like a large size home bathroom. And super clean. These things do not have a thousand feet between them, but they are not jammed in either. This is one of the best campgrounds we have ever been to. Alright, guys, that's going to do it for now. Creekwood Farm RV Park in Waynesville, North Carolina. Make sure to check it out. We appreciate you guys watching. And we'll catch you guys down the road.